Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Today we have as our guest, Kramer Soderman, who's written a book uh, about Jesus and about basketball. He's a, he's a basketball coach. He's a, he was a college basketball player, father of three children, and uh, living that life, that full life that Jesus has for us. We're going to talk about what basketball has to do with Jesus. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. When you're raised in the church, sometimes you're just kind of hardened to it all. You don't really, you, you, don't, exactly. you can't see past it. And so exactly. then what happened? Yeah, so so it was um, after I started falling in love with Christ, it was kind of that honeymoon period where, you know, I felt so good. I was on fire about my faith, ready to go. Nothing was going to stop me. And then out of nowhere, uh, a, a pretty significant trial in my life came um, where I was working for my dad and he got the, the assistant job at um, the University of Virginia. And um, I was out of the job, you know, and that kind of went into a, a five month period of, me searching for a job, couldn't find one, sent in resumes, made calls. My dad was making calls and we just couldn't find a job. Um, but that trial for me united me closer to Christ than, than anything else could have. Um, and that's why suffering is so good. Well, how did you, how did you, how do you mean it, it united you to Christ? What was, how did that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I think for all of us, any trial makes you realize how, um, how much, control you don't have god god has a call for each of us uh, and, yep. and and we we call we say that the most radical thing you can do in life is abandon yourself to the wild adventure of god's will how many mm -hmm. people have not even scratched the surface of of knowing god's will yeah their, their their life is 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 just this kind of routine uh and never never um never having of asking God for a vision or a dream and never stepping out in faith. The most radical thing you can do is abandon yourself to God's will, which is also to say his love. But when you're right there in God's will, you get to watch miracles happen. You get to see stuff happen. You get to do the stuff. God, God's still in the, in the, in the, in the miracle biz, you know, in ministry it's so often we're like, how are we going to pay this next bill, for example, or how are we going to get, uh, you know, I'd love to have Archbishop Wensky ride with us in one of our episodes. And then suddenly the door just opens, pop, pop, pop like that. And you know, you had nothing to do with it, but, but Kramer, I worked hard. I prepared. And so, and I, I had that sense that this is the next thing God wants to do, do. So I did all that I could do. Good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash bear Wozniak deep adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.